Hello, Sherlock. You're back early. <laughs> Watson, what's going on? Oh, your brother called. Don't change the subject. You were up to something. Uh, no, I was just thinking about having a cup of tea. Would you like one? Something's going on. And if you won't tell me, I will figure it out myself by using my powers of deduction. Oh, God. <laughs> the sheet music has been removed from my violin stand and replaced with a copy of the Littlewoods catalogue, conveniently open at the women's underwear section. <laughs> it's daytime, but the curtains are shut. And a scented candle has been lit, as though to create a romantic ambiance. But you're on your own. On the top of the stereo system lies an Usher CD. His R&B grooves are synonymous with getting down with it. <laughs> and on the mantelpiece, a framed picture of me has been placed face down. What is it that you didn't want me to see, Watson? Perhaps it's Mrs. Hudson's bottle of lavender hand lotion, which has been mysteriously removed from the washroom and placed on the table next to you. <laughs> on the floor is a woman's glove, but the stitching has been frayed as though it's been worn by a larger hand. A man's hand. The hand of a man. But here's the final piece of the puzzle, Watson. You're right-handed, but on your left side, a box of aloe vera fragrant tissues has been placed. <laughs> Answer me this, Watson. What was it that was keeping your right hand so occupied that it could not reach for the tissues? <laughs> I'll do it in my room from now on. <laughs> if you would. <laughs>